Want to learn about rugby? Let us take you through the basics. There's a field, a ball, a ref, and the players. Time to ditch the shorts and grab your swimmers for underwater rugby. underwater rugby. Can you give us a bit of a lowdown? Yeah, it's uh, it's not one of those usual sports you hear around the place. Um, it's basically water polo upside down, but you're holding your breath, you're wrestling with people, and you're trying to get the ball in the other goal. And people of all ages can get involved in this crazy sport. So you guys are the two youngest players on this team. What do you think of the sport? Oh, well, it's really fun just going around having a nice swim and getting a bit of contact. Do you find it's less scary being tackled in the water? Uh, probably. Yeah. 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 It's slower. I like actual rugby. It's more like slow motion yeah. being tackled. <laughs> yeah. I must be honest, when I'm watching it, it looks a little bit like chaos from the surface. Is there any game strategy happening? Well, I'll tell you what, if it looks like chaos on the surface, it's so much worse underwater. We've got game plays, we've got people waiting in certain positions. Um, most of the time we, apply, we pass blindly and we know that someone's going to be there waiting for the ball. It doesn't always work that way, but we're trying to develop a strategy which works for the team. Each team has six players in the water at a time, and they're not playing in the shallow end. They have to hold their breath at depths of up to five metres. It gets super tiring, but there's a solution to that. So you're in the game, but you're outside the pool. How does that work? Yeah, that's right. I'm actually a sock. So when my partner gets tired and jump up, I actually jump down and play for some few minutes. And when I get tired, I jump up again, and my partner jumps in the water. So how are you doing? You've just come out of the water. How's your breath going? Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm totally out of air. And so is it hard to keep having to hold your breath? Well, it really is, it really is. When you're going up and down that often, you really start to get exhausted, your heart rate gets up, and sometimes you're down there and you physically can't stay down any longer. And how exactly are you guys communicating underwater? Yeah, so it's really hard, really. You have a partner, you have your positions and you have a partner in those positions that you swap with, so you try and just signal them in with your hand, just wave them down when you're almost out of air. So you'll swap, and then if you're trying to get a parcel of someone, you, you pinch them or tap them, try and get their attention, because you can't talk to them, of course. So there's not really any rules to communication? Not really, no. You, you just go with what you can do at the time. Like that? Yeah. Something like yeah, that? that? That's pretty well exactly how it happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah. Along with differences in team chat, the underwater rugby ball is also kind of strange. Balls don't normally sink. They normally float. How is this ball sinking? Exactly. So we fill it with salt water, which makes it negatively buoyant, means it's going to sink in the freshwater pool. Just normal physics. Science for you. Exactly. Well, I reckon we should have a go at using this ball. What do you think? Excellent. Let's jump in. 